Hello ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, this is Shane and you're watching Coffee Shit TV. <laughs> Perceive and recognize. Perception and recognition. So those two words are really similar, really similar, but it's actually quite different. So perception is basically what you sense. So when we eat, drink, and see, and touch. So when you basically sense something by your receptors in your bodies, in our bodies, because I have receptors as well. And then your brain, your brain gets delivered all the stimulations through the nerves, right? And then the brains, our brains, let us feel the stimulation as their own feelings. Okay, fine, easy enough. And then secondly, recognition. So after you feel the stimulations, after you feel it, you recognize what the feeling is. So how you recognize this? By your experience and your knowledge in your brain. Brains. The language is really important part in here. Okay, let me give you an example. So if you pinch yourself, firstly soft, I can only feel the pressure from my two fingers pressing this spot. And then if you go harder, now I can feel the pain. Ouch! Some might like it. I know that. I know you like it, pervert. You're very welcome. So in this case, when I pinch myself, I can feel something on here. And when I went harder, I can feel more. Then I can feel part is perception and oh something is pressing something is pressing when i go weak i recognize the feeling this pinching feeling is pressing that's recognition and then when i went harder it's ouch ouch is perception and ouch is what it is ouch is pain it hurts it's painful that painful it hurts is recognition and then another example, I'm wearing blue shirt, right? And then here's yellow, red, and white. So I see, I see the color, I feel the color, that's perception. And then, ah, it's the red color, yellow color, white color, and blue color, that's recognition. Uh, but, 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 what if we see, we see colors that we don't know the exact name of the color? So this. Can you name what color it is? Not really, right? This has pink color, but a bit dark, and it has a bit of like yellowish pink color kind of thing. It's hard to tell, right? In this case, we put ish. So this is pink ish or dark pink ish because it's not really pink, but it's ish. But if you are like color professional kind of thing, then you may know the name of the color, exact name of the color. But we are not, most people are not the color professional, so we just call it pink ish. Why we call it like that? Because we don't have like enough experience, enough knowledge about it. But we still can recognize what's similar with this color, right? So we just call it with the color that we know. So we experience the color by perceiving through our eyes, and then we learn what color it is. And then in next time when we see the same color, we recognize as the color. So we have no idea when you are born. When you are born, we have no idea what color it is, what color is cold. We just see the color. I like this color, mama. Ah, oh, Shin, you like this color. Uh, this is red, Shin. So I know what red is, what red color is. So next time I see this, ah, oh, that's red, that's red. I recognize this as red color. From this is the important part, right? Taste. Let's go through the taste. <laughs> taste. Sweetness, saltiness, sourness, bitterness, and umami. But I'll take the umami away because I cannot recognize the perception of the umami taste. So that's why I just take it away. And the taste, those are sensed by on our tongues, right? So let's go back to when you're babies. So I'm baby, I'm baby, I'm baby. That's right. Oh, what is this? Did you eat this lemon scene? 
Squatch lemon. It's yucky. This is called lemon. This yellow fruit is called lemon. It's very sour, right? This is very, very sour. What sour? What sour? Didn't you feel something like sting in your tongue? Right, I smear this yucky. That's sour, Shin. And from now on, I could recognize the sourness, right? So I had no idea what sour is. I had no idea even what lemon is. I had no idea what the taste of the lemon, but I experienced it and then feeling the stimulation on my tongue. And then my mom comes in and explained in the language, the sour, sourness. Next time when I eat lemon or the other fruits, if it has the same like this thing feeling in my tongue, I can recognize it as sour, okay? Now, Aroma, I hate you! Aroma. Aroma, as always, is being an As always being a In this case as well. So when you smell something at the very, very first time, we perceive the smell, right? We perceive the smell. And then from that, we know what that, what the thing smells like, right? And in that case, if the stimulation is really strong, then probably you can't remember it better. For example, if you smell your crush's hair. <coughs> ah, that shampoo. I'm gonna remember it till I die. Right? So you can remember it till you die, your crush's hair. So when you smell it again, you can recognize it as crush's hair. In that case, you already felt something weird, right? Not because I gave you an like, inappropriate example, because it doesn't have its own name. It's not red, it's not sour, it's not like bitter or sweet, it's not like purple. It doesn't have its own name. We can just call it your crush's hair smell the shampoo that your crush used it to use but if the shampoo is like smells of like peach or something we can call it peach smell but peach is not like red and like sourness peach is just one object we've been through this in the last video click or tap here buh, buh, buh. so yeah that's why our mind is being an and our mind again Again, again. Taste is easy and the uh, texture and body is easy. Body is really easy, just heavy, medium, light. That's it. You just need the standard what's medium. But aroma, aroma is all up to your experience. Aroma is not something someone can teach you. Mm, this smells weird, but still I like it. That's coffee. That's the smell of the coffee, that's it. Even your mom, even my mom. My mom cannot explain what coffee aroma cold. It's just coffee aroma, that's the thing. That's why you have to experience all the different aromas to be a big yeast. Dish in the world. So I just like this thing is the aroma in the coffee. Oh, interesting. Definitely stone fruit like, but it's kind of like unripe stone fruit like aroma is on here. And then the cinnamon like aroma is on here as well. And then aftertaste is a bit like rice kind of thing. Like barley, more like barley. The aftertaste is like that. I can recognize like three aromas, the stone fruit, unripe stone fruit aroma and the uh, cinnamon like aroma and the uh, rice like sweet aroma, the barley like sweet aroma. That's how you distinguish the aroma and the aroma recognition and the perception comes together kind of together because as you perceive as you experience you should call it as this as the object so that's it guys today please subscribe and set the alarm sorry and set the alarm and click the like if you like the video and thank you for watching peace out